I just want to start off. I know you made the move to Jackson Wink. What was the reason behind that? Uh, well, honestly, man, in, in Houston, I wasn't getting trading partners. You know, it was uh, it was at a point where I would have to physically exhaust myself almost every day in order to even get a decent look at training. Um, I was having to beg on Facebook to get people to come train with me, and there weren't a lot of full time fighting heavyweights or upper weights in general out there you know they might have been pros but they still had other jobs so it was very hard to to get training partners and that was the biggest biggest deciding factor at jackson Mc, they obviously have a lot of heavyweights light heavyweights like they have john jones they have devin clark are those some of the guys you are working with yeah yeah it's uh devin clark davion franklin don Mays. um those, those are just a few of them. Also, Christian Edwards, just a big group of guys like that. How much better do you think you will be now at Jacksonville Gap, having like a good coaching staff and Greg and Mike, and then having all those training partners? Um, I think I'll be a lot better, honestly. Um, you know, things down to just my stance have changed out here. There's so few distractions for me. You know, training in my hometown. People always want something from me. You know, they always want my time. It's uh, always obligated, or I feel obligated all the time to go and meet people and, and do things like that. Whereas out here, I don't have any of that. So um, it's just a different level of focus. You are getting this fight against Justin Taffa. He's only 3-1, and one, but he's owned one in the UFC. Like, what do you know about him? Uh, you know, I know he's uh, he's got power in both hands. He's a striker. I know he brings the fight every fight. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You know, he, he's game. He wants to come in. He's in there trying to prove something. I'm in there trying to prove something. I think it's going to be a great fight. You're obviously on a two-fight losing streak. Like, how important is this fight for your career to win? Uh, you know, I think it's a, a pivotal point in my career, and that, that was a big, another big factor in this move, is that, you know, if, if I were to lose this fight and I hadn't come out here, I hadn't gone all in and expended every option to, to get a win, to surround myself with the best opportunity to win and put myself in the best position to win, I wouldn't have felt right going into this fight. That last fight, I know that Hardy fight is something you wanted. Have you been able to get over that loss? Because that was a tough loss because I know how much you really wanted that fight. Yeah, you know, it, it was. It took a while. I, I didn't set foot in the gym for about six weeks after that fight. Uh, normally, I'm in the gym the next week. So, that was tough. Um, you know, I, I went to I went to a therapist. You know, I really started working on is developing myself more as a person outside of fighting and um it was a it was a big difference it was it definitely changed me in a way and i think it changed me for the better you guys are on the main card of this pay-per-view like what's that like being on main card of pay-per-view and a big spotlight on a john jones card you know um it, it is my second time fighting in this slot. First time on a pay per view. Um, I'm I'm really. It's weird. Uh, before I, w I would get a lot of anxiety uh, for this position. You know, going into my last fight, you know, I was very nervous. I had a lot of anxiety, and I was kind of just happy to be there in a sense. And this one, it's like it's part of the job now. It, it just feels like another day at the office. It's all business. Uh, that was just kind of a perk on top of it. I don't. I'm not thinking too much about it this time, um, and I'm not as nervous. Do you think your experience? Like you have a lot more octagon time. Like do you think that's going to play a factor in this fight? Uh, yeah, I, I do. Um, I, I have a size advantage. I have a reach advantage. You know, we weigh the same, but we're not both the same. Uh, I think all that's going to play a big factor in it. This fight, you guys are both primarily strikers. Like, do you just think this is gonna be uh, just you guys on the striking for the most part? Uh, you know, that's obviously where it starts. Um, I, 
I think so. That's uh, I, I I do think it'll play out mostly on the feet here, but you know I I do have Division One wrestling experience, so it's you know I I haven't used it much in, in the UFC, but in all my fights before, my wrestling was the deciding factor. How do you see this fight playing out? Because obviously, if it stays standing, you're probably thinking a knockout then. Yeah, I, I believe I'm going to either knock him out or get a TKO. I think once he feels my power, he's going to try and do something stupid, and I'm going to capitalize on that. You know, my wrestling, my positioning, all that are superior to his. So if, you know, when he feels my power and he tries to close that distance, go into a clinch, he's going to end up on the ground. And on the ground, you know, my ground and pound is... It's, it's, it's life changing, you know. People, it, it changes every fight when it goes to the ground. Have you been working with Jones at all in this camp? Yeah, you know, uh, I've gotten a few rounds in with John. As John gets closer to his fight, he focuses more on guys with the body type and the style of his opponent. So um, I'm clearly not built at all like Dom Reyes. I have a very different style than Dom Reyes. So. We haven't been training together a whole lot, but we have gotten rounds in. I know I've talked to Winkle John a lot, and he basically, his big philosophy is a lot of tape study. He says that's what makes fighters good is the fight IQ, and just that's what makes Jones so good. Like, is that a different approach for you, having to do all this extra studying, or have you always been doing that? No, I have never done that uh, before. My, my philosophy was always, you know, I don't care what they do, I'm going to do what I do. And, uh... <laughs> That's been different this time, uh, but it's definitely been refreshing, um, you know, where there's a purpose behind every drill, there's a purpose behind every exercise, there's a purpose behind every technique that I'm working out here, and uh, that's been different. With, uh, like, what do you think a win here does for you? Uh, I think it, it gets me in... Um, a new fight agreement with the UFC gives me more fights in the promotion. And uh, I think that's just the beginning, you know. Um, obviously, it, it's in a more prime spot on the card, so it will give me more visibility, you know, it'll increase the followers and, and all that stuff. But ultimately, I think uh, the biggest thing is it'll, it'll give me more opportunities within the UFC. Is this the last fight of the new deal because i know most fights run four fights or most contracts run yeah. four fights yeah yeah this is the fourth fight on my contract um and then i'm hoping to renew them after that so this obviously is like do or die for you because then if you lose this you're going to be one three and they're probably not going to re-sign you then yeah exactly does that add more pressure to the fight or are you not even thinking about that you're just thinking this is just a one fight like i just got to do my job here yeah, I'm thinking of it kind of like my contender series fight where it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm not too concerned with what happens afterwards. I just, I really just want to get that win. That's the goal. Um, that's the most pressing issue for me and that's the priority. So, uh, you know, I can think about all that stuff and thinking about all that stuff only just adds more stress because the reality is, you know, the only thing that's guaranteed is this fight, you know, this fight is going to happen. And I can't focus too much on all the maybes afterwards. I have to focus on the things that I know are going to come to pass. You know, um, that was another big thing about me moving out here was to eliminate a lot of distractions in my personal life and everything else. You know, I got out here and Anything that wasn't guaranteed, I, I cut out. Anything that distracted me from, you know, the two main objectives, I had to cut out. Um, you know, people, even people, you know, that weren't filling their role, that weren't aiding in me, you know, making weight and getting to this fight, they got cut out. I know you always post after the weigh-ins about, like, eating all that like the junk food and stuff, are you still going to be doing that or have you been more on a healthier diet since moving to Jackson Wink? Yeah, um, I will not be doing that this time. Uh, after the fight, I will be, but, uh, you know, back in October, I got with Trifecta Systems about um, 
and uh, that was it. You know, I, I got with Trifecta System. They've been sending me the food. I've been eating pretty much the same five or six meals a lot since since October, end of October, early November. So it's um, it's been different. I, I saw my body composition change a lot sooner than I saw my weight change. Now the weight's just kind of falling off of me. So it, it should be a smooth and easy cut. Uh, just who is gonna be in your corner? Is it gonna be like Greg and Wink and J- Wink, Winkle John? Yeah, it will be Greg Jackson, Mike Winkle John, and then uh, Jeremy Laughlin, who's been in my corner since the beginning. Um, it, just, all right, well, Juan, that's like.